So I'm out in my garage and I just want to show you what I've been working on for the last several days. This is a UVC N95 mask disinfection cabinet. I built this for our fire department because we are having problems reordering N95 masks. And our current protocols state that we can reuse N95 masks under certain conditions. So to be safe, we would like to disinfect our masks before we use them. And this box uh, was built for that purpose. This box is following South Fork Fire's design uh, roughly, where they use two 13 watt UVC germicidal lamps. And I modified their design quite a bit. I have a timer switch built into it and also a safety lockout, which um, disables the box if um, somewhere to open it while it was actually running. So let me show you the inside of the box here. The inside of the box is lined with aluminum foil um, tape, which um, you can get from the hardware store for air conditioning. It has two 13 watt germicidal UVC 254 nanometer lamps in the uh, box in the back. And then I have a geared down motor that's tied to this bar which rotates this mask um, about six and a half times a minute to make my shadowing effect. So you can see if the mask were just sitting here stationary and you see that um, net that's on the front of it, there's a lot of shadowing that occurs underneath the, the uh, net. But as you rotate the mask around, it allows more of the shadowing to be um, effectively diminished by giving the light multiple paths to uh, enter the mask surface. Now, um, the inside of the box has a power supply for the motor, and it also has two drivers that uh, run the UVC bulbs. To make the drivers, I actually took apart some 13 watt CFL bulbs, modified the circuits on those, and then used them to drive the, the um, lamps directly. So, there's also a metal plate here with a magnet attached to the door, which holds the door while uh, the, the door is closed to keep it just from flopping open. Um, there's a piano hinge here. And let's see, what else? I don't think, oh, I have a little weight on the bottom of the mask to hold it in place. So let me get to showing you actual operation of this cabinet. So I had to pause the video for a few seconds there. It was a small plane uh, flying over. It was getting pretty loud. So anyways, uh, back to showing you the operation of this cabinet. So right now I have a mask in here that I'm doing destructive testing on and you see these little stripes on the uh, elastic piece. I'm marking it every time I run it through a cycle because the UV will actually damage the material that this is made out of. I'm checking to see if the elastic is wearing at all and if the mask itself is uh, starting to come apart in any fashion. So what I'm going to do is after I figure out where that happens at is we'll know that we can't um, safely run this for about one quarter of that many cycles because the actual filter material will be breaking down from the UV. But anyways, back on to showing you the operation. Uh, I have safety goggles that block UVC and I have gloves on to protect my skin. Uh, I'm going to actually bypass the safety switch. So let me go ahead and turn this guy on. Normally with the door closed, everything turns on because the safety switch is enabled. But let's go ahead and bypass that safety switch. see the mask rotates by the lights and um, I think the UVC is actually messing with the camera's focus when it's um, running in here. So you can see the UV bulbs are running. So if you guys have any questions about how this box is built or those lines, 
I am pretty busy. You can just leave a question in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. Um, as long as it's a good question, I'll try and answer it uh, as quickly as I can. But um, it may be a few days. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, hope uh, you find something useful in this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.